A new CDC estimate says drug overdoses killed a record 72,000 Americans last year. That's more deaths than caused by car crashes or guns. More than 70 people overdosed on a synthetic marijuana just yesterday at or near a Connecticut park. The drug, known as K2, can be 100 times more potent than regular marijuana. Tony DeCopel is in New Haven, where police fear they could get more 911 calls today. Tony, good morning. A good morning. We can tell you that all but one patient from yesterday is now out of the hospital, but there are two people in custody in connection to those overdoses here, and there were a lot of them. A very chaotic scene. Just walking the park this morning, we can still see tire tracks converging here where multiple emergency vehicles were called in response. The calls began at about 8 a.m., and for hours and hours, they just didn't stop. Engine 4, emergency 1, responding on an EMS alarm. No Haven Green. As emergency responders rushed to the scene, they found dozens of people nauseous and unconscious on the green. Stop moving. One man said they were dropping like the plague. It's just a scary scene. Adding to the chaos, a press conference about the overdoses was interrupted. You say we're getting another call of a person. Can, yeah, if you want to just get someone on the radio. More than 70 people were transported to local hospitals, and officials believe most took the synthetic marijuana known as K2. I guess it's appropriate that we're in a lab because synthetic marijuana is not a plant at all. No, it's not. It's a chemical made in a laboratory. Yale School of Public Health Dean says because synthetic marijuana is newer than most drugs, it has escaped regular oversight. In some uh, jurisdictions, this is not illegal to sell. We have a very serious regulatory and policy gap. New Haven City officials have dealt with this before. 14 overdoses were reported on July 4th, and a public safety alert was declared after two nearly deadly incidents in January. But Fire Chief John Alston says it's a nationwide problem. New York dealt with a similar situation when nearly 60 people overdosed on K2 in May. People are self-medicating for several different reasons. And every agency, police, fire, medical, hospitals, all are strained at this time. This is a problem that's not going away. And as if the K2 problem wasn't bad enough, one of the medical directors at the hospitals where overdose patients were taken says there are signs that some of the K2 may have been dosed with opioids as well. Biana? Horrifying scene. That police chief is right. This is a nationwide problem. Tony, thank you.